What's up, Red Devil fans? Big Mike and Paisley tonight. It's a baby shack. <laughs> Big Mike and Paisley live from the Red Devils playground. The last scheduled regular season home game tonight as the as Okima travels straight west to battle the Red Devils here at home. Again, the last scheduled home game of the regular season. Obviously, that doesn't include the playoffs and, yeah. and beyond. So, yeah, it's Mike and Paisley tonight. Trails over there beating on the drums. Amanda's oh, yeah. got to take pictures for senior night. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, we're starting a little early tonight because there is senior night going on tonight. And they're going to honor all the seniors tonight. And I'll go over them really quickly. This is uh, not only basketball, but it is... Soft? Softball, I believe. I think softball was in the spring. Oh, so really? So it's, it's basketball and track. I yeah, believe. yeah, yeah. I knew it was too. I just didn't so, know. So, uh, oh, power! Don't don't let me forget powerlifting as well. So, the seniors tonight being honored, and tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. I know I had some people say that they could hear Matt, which is the uh, announcer for the arena, over me. So, whenever the senior night festivities start, I'm going to turn my microphone off and let him do the calling. So you won't hear me until the game. But basketball. Um, and these are in no particular order. The guys and the girls are mixed together as well. So the seniors tonight of 2023 for Preg is starting with basketball, Delaney Boyd, Madison Dowdy, my man, my man, Peyton Ezell, <laughs> um, Cameron Hightower, don't can't forget the Flying Dutchman, Jaden oh no. Hewitt, Lily Johnson, Trevor McGinnis, and no other than the machine himself, Blustin Miller. Okay. <laughs> Um, can't forget Stephanie Tinsley. Oh, yeah, baby. And that will conclude the basketball portion of senior night. Next on to is powerlifting is Carson Holzapple. Tyler Van Brunt are the two seniors for powerlifting. And, and track and, oh, my oh, oh, sweet baby Jesus, basically. <laughs> oh, no. Our, one of our favorite persons in the world. Yeah! Miss Maddie Ott. Oh, yeah. Eileen Vasquez. And that does it for track. And then we have eSports, which is new. You know what eSports is, Paisley? I think I do. I video know. games. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. So I know if you were talking about the video game. eSports, we have Alex Flat. Is Troll in that? Cole Geyser. Troll better Kaden. be in that. Hold on, what? I can't so see So that it. is the eSports seniors tonight's guys oh it's so, kind of disappointing so i want to travel there so here pretty quick we will um turn the microphone over to mr matt down low and let him take yeah. uh the reins and call the senior night festivities but guys man it's been a pleasure i know i know that um the prague is a small community and i get it um but I will not be here next year. I'm not going to call any football games. I'm not going to call any basketball games. Um, I, I would assume that somebody would probably take the rim, the, the reins from me next year. Um, there's a lot of people out there that I know that are more capable of doing so. Um, I haven't talked to anybody about it. I've just briefly mentioned it to Coach Greer and some other people. But uh, Trail senior year is next year. And I, I feel like I don't want to miss out on his senior year. And I want to be in the stands watching him play the drums cheering on the Devils, so technically this will be my last home game calling games for Preg until who knows, man. Maybe after his senior year I come back and do some more. I'm not opposed to that. And I'm sure I'll be helping out whoever takes the reins next year of getting it set up, and you'll you'll, you'll hear me throughout. But um, I don't want to miss any of Trell's senior year. And, um, you know, I want to call stuff. And are you going to jump on here? Sure. Last home game. Sorry, had a brief interruption there, but again, yeah, um, this this will be my last go round for a while. Um, I, I I do know that we have every intentions of calling the the playoffs this year, um, especially the first round. Um, if somebody gets beat and they play before four o'clock on a weekday, I probably can't make it. So I haven't gotten with Coach Greer yet to see if we're gonna like spend the money and and try to call the playoff games. Um, I do know if I can't be there, Trail more than likely can be there during the playoffs. So I would assume that we'd work something out to to call the playoff games, but truly this is my last go round tonight, and uh, I mean it's been fun. It's a good, it's a heck of a ride. 
Um, I've been a part of a lot of sporting events and football, basketball, soccer. I played everything underneath the book. Um, my wife played everything underneath the book. She was a hell of a basketball player. Um, we've been around a, a long time when it comes to the sporting world, and I've never had a place um, that has truly accepted me as Preg has, and I, I will stick to it uh, thick and thin is Prague is the best traveling town I've ever been to. You know, I grew up in Shawnee, played big 5A football, basketball, all that stuff. Um, we didn't travel near as good as Prague does. I mean, we go to Vianne, and, and the fans on the visitor side have more people in it than the home team, which is incredible. And that just uh, attests to what Prague is, you know. And I'm, the biggest thing that I've ever done in my kids' lives is move them over here to Prague. And, you know, like I said, I, I didn't grow up here. Um, I'm not a Preg OG, um, but I've been accepted as one, and it's amazing. I love this town. Uh, we're going to be here for a long time. Um, I, you know, Paisley's just in fourth grade. I hope to be calling her name one day on the basketball court um, because her nickname is Baby Shack. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I look forward to seeing what the future holds for Preg, but it's just not for me next year in calling games. I don't want to miss – like I said, you know, Trell's senior year. So um, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of people that could go out there. But, again, it's not about me. It's about, like, I want to thank everybody for listening and thanking me over the years and providing and helping. And, you know, we had some anonymous donors during the football season that got us on in the, in the playoffs. There's a lot of things that go into calling a game than just one guy standing up here and shouting names and telling everybody what does what's up. So um, there's a whole bunch of people behind the scenes that don't get credit you know, Coach Greer has helped me since day one get all this thing put into motion. Um, Feltman's helped me. Um, Eagles helped me. Um, you know, it, it, it's been it's been a lot. Uh, uh, Jenny Smith has helped me. Uh, you know, it's not one person that just shows up and stands us. We have to come up with schedules and and you know we have to get rosters and we have to find places to set up and we have to find internet it's just been crazy but i just wanted to thank everything before before the senior year and, and it's kind of crazy because these are my seniors man i've called every game in the last three or four years for these guys since they were freshmen all until they were seniors and i call them you know my people because since the freshman year i've got to watch them grow and excel and do big things and i don't expect it to stop now so again Thank you, guys. I'm going to turn this over to Matt and let him call the senior night, and I'll be back with the game in just a minute.
Thank you. 
All right, folks, so there you have it. Senior night is a wrap in Preg. Congratulations to all the seniors, both what, basketball, powerlifting, track, eSports? Got to turn my mic on. Okay. I'll turn Mike Pace's mic on. Yeah, you better. Okay. So we got just about 15 minutes left until the girls kick it off. Oh, yeah. Against the Okima Pan Panthers, right? Yeah, I think so. We're playing Okima, aren't we? Yeah, so it should yeah. be the Panthers. This yeah. is, the, like I said, the last regular home season game scheduled. And we'll start the playoffs the 18th, I believe, at 6 and 8. Girls, then guys, both playing little acts, if I believe. Uh, and then from where we go from there, I have no idea. Depending on if we win or lose, if, as long as we keep winning, yeah. that shouldn't be a problem. But if we lose, I think I some games start at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And, and, and unless it's on a Monday, I just can't be there. So um, hopefully we'll get Fingers that out. Yeah, hopefully is. we'll get that out on social media and or, or the Prague Public Schools <laughs> Facebook page or something like that and let you guys know what's going on as far as the postseason goes. Um... I do know that Coach Greer wants us there to film. It's just the, the fact of actually getting there. So, so, anyways. So, uh, yeah, just over 15 minutes left, and we'll get this one uh, tipped off and underway. So, uh, again, congratulations to all the seniors. Basketball, track, eSports, powerlifting. So, um, and, and Matt does a great job announcing the games at the bottom down there. Um, so we had a plan just to let him kind of take that over so that you can kind of hear him on my microphone anyways and we're not double talking and all that jazz. So uh, give us just a little bit. I'm going to try to go get some rosters and we'll tip this one off in about 15 minutes.
All right, we're back. Just over five minutes till we're tip off. Back. Sorry. Just over five minutes till tip off. It is Prague versus Okima in Senior Night, the last home regular schedule, last regular home schedule game. Sorry, yep. just it kicking in. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, guys, sorry about that. We're back. Uh, senior night, Paisley and Mike here live at home from the uh, Red Devils playground as Prague versus Meekers, like I said, senior night in the last regular scheduled home game of the season. Um, getting ready for the invocation and uh, the national anthem played by uh, the greatest band in the history of Prague, the Pride of Prague. Alright guys, I'll leave the mic on and we'll get this out of the way and then we'll start these games.
job Prada Prague for uh, with the uh, national anthem there so again Okima travels west for the last regular sch scheduled game of the season and it is Prague versus Okima to start this tonight so the starting lineups for the visiting team wearing all black trimmed out in gold the Okima Panthers number two Maddie and I'm not going to try to pronounce her last name because I don't want to butcher it Next up is number four, Miranda Switch. The third starter for the Panthers, number 12, Raven Deer. Next up, number 13, Addy Bean. And last but not least is number 22, Elaine Berryhill. Coached by a familiar face, the Lady Red Devils coach last year, Kenimer. And now the starting lineup for your Lady Red Devils. Senior number 20, Stephanie. Senior Tinsley. number 20, Stephanie senior Tinsley. Senior number 21, Jaden. Also a Hubert. senior number 21, Jaden Hubert. Senior number 25, Guess what's Delaney next up? Boyd. A senior number 25, Delaney Boyd. Senior number, 30, senior number 33, Lily Johnson. Lily Johnson. And last but not least, number 40, guess what? Also a senior, Madison Dowdy, five seniors starting for the Lady Red Devils. Coached by Caleb Patterson and assisted Danielle Manning. So five seniors starting tonight. Three bigs, <laughs> Dowdy, Boyd, and Johnson all starting. It looks like number 12, Raven Deer will be jumping. Number 25, Delaney Boyd to start the night out. Eight minutes on the clock. Senior night in the big town on a Monday. Last regular scheduled home season game. And we're all but underway here. Here we go. Deer versus Boyd. And the Lady Panthers will control the tip. 22. Barry Hill with the first shot of the game. A three. No good. Rebounded Lily Johnson. Gets it over to Tinsley, and that's off her leg and out of bounds. Oh, Kima basketball. Into number 22, Barry Hill again. Her shot no good. This time, Dowdy has it. And finally, Stephanie Tinsley has it over to Hubert. And she is stolen. Barry Hill over to number two. Maddie and a foul incoming and two shots as well. First personal foul of the game. Jaden Hubert picks that up. First team foul against Preg. Gaxiola is the last name. Hopefully I got that right. She misses the first. Still no score here in Preg.
Second one's up and in. Full court pressure by Okima here. Broken by the Lady Devils. Johnson has it. Hits Boyd back to Lily Johnson. And we have a travel or a double dribble called on 33 Lily Johnson. Seven twenty left in the first quarter. This is Barry Hill. Kicks it out to Gaxiola. Now Bean. Switch. Bean. Up top to Gaxiola. Deep into the paint. That's Deer. Good pass on the backside to switch. And we have a second foul of the game against Prague. Their second team foul. Delaney Boyd picks up her first. That puts number four, Miranda Switch, at the line to shoot two. First one's off the mark. Six forty-five left in the first here. Second one is good. Two to nothing, Okima Panthers, and full court pressure by the Lady Panthers here. And uh, Tinsley back to Hubert, dribbling with the left hand through the middle, crosses the timeline. Now Tinsley has it over to Johnson. Back to Tinsley into Delaney Boyd baseline jumper, no good. Dowdy's got the offensive board, kicks it back out to Hubert. Hubert inside, and we have our first whistle against Okima tonight. Number two, Maddie. Foul goes against the Panthers. Number two, Maddie Gaxiola, her first personal. Maddie Gaxiola picks up her first personal in the first team foul against the Panthers. Into Tinsley on the baseline. Need some help here. Big time help gets it in Johnson on the left side here. Baseline to Dowdy. Good dribble. Ooh, block over the top by Deer. But we're going to have a foul. They say number 12, Raven Deer caught a piece of Dowdy as she went up for the shot. And we got our first two free throws for Preg tonight. Number 40, the senior, Madison Dowdy. Left-hander shoots, misses off to the left, and no good for the first one. Second one is up. No good. Rebound number four. Switch for Okima. Dribbling up the right-hand side. Coast to coast. Stripped by Lily Johnson. Deer gets the loose ball. Pinged around after the shot won't go. And Okima kind of resets here. Switch for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Bean. Barry Hill now. Over to Switch. Back down to Gaxiola. Okima swinging the ball really well here. Barry Hill cross court to Gaxiola. Now back to Barry Hill. She'll penetrate in the lane. The floater is no good. Rebound Lily Johnson. Needs some help here. Gets it in Tinsley. Tinsley off to the races. Three on one here, and the pass is just a little bit in front of Delaney Boyd, and that'll be out in favor of the Lady Panthers. 5-19 left in the first. 2 to nothing. the score. Okima leads Prague. Switch. Gaxiola here. Traveling baseline. Jumper. No good. Over. But Deer grabs the offensive board. Untouched. Goes back up and scores two more for Okima. 4 to nothing now. Full court man-to-man -man pressure, it appears, into Hubert. Up to Tinsley. That's a foul, not called. Back to Hubert now. She's trapped. Dribbles out with the left hand. Good crossover by Jaden Hubert. Enters the lane. Take it herself. Throws it up and no good. That'll be out of bounds. So Kima basketball. Four thirty-five left in the first quarter here. Bean. Over to switch. 
Gaxiola now. Oh, wide open on the backside is Switch. Dowdy gets a hand on that. Good defense by Madison. And we somehow out of that, we got a jump ball. And now the subs come in. Number 12, Ella Shimmick will take Madison Dowdy's spot. 23, Lexi Treviso comes in. Delaney Boyd will have a seat. Oh, Preg's got numbers here. Shimmick running up the left-hand side. Gets it in the corner, kicks it all the way back out to Hubert. Hubert driving now. Back to Shimmick. Left corner three. No good off the back iron. Offensive board, Jaden Hubert. Now Treviso's first touch. Back to Hubert up top. Treviso driving off the Okima's foot. It'll be Preg basketball. Hubert inbound. That's deflected away by Gaxiola. Treviso. Shimmick in the corner. Trapped. Tried to get it to uh, Treviso. It's stolen by Deer. Up to switch. Now to Gaxiola on the left-hand side. And we got a foul by Stephanie Tinsley. And that'll put number two, Maddie Gaxiola, on the line. Shoot two here. 13 foul against Preg. Tinsley's first. First free throw, no good. Second one is up. Off the back iron. Offensive rebound switch for Okima. Back to Gaxiola. Hits Bean on the back door cut baseline. Back out to Barry Hill. Moving it well. Bean on the baseline. Barry Hill for three from the right wing. Got it. Three point basket is good by Barry Full court pressure by the Lady Panthers. Down to Treviso. She'll drive. Blocked by Deer. And Okima goes from light to left here. Backdoor cut. Gaxiola wide open. And it's quickly 9 to nothing. Okima. Deflected. Gaxiola has it again. Kicks it out to Bean. Good save there. And Okima kind of set the offense up here. Gaxiola driving. Eurostep. Lob is good. Now it's 11 to nothing. Full timeout Preg. 2.33 left in the first. 11 to nothing in favor of Okima. We're back after the uh, Preg timeout. 11 to nothing. Rough start for the Lady Devils. Let's see if they can change it up here. Full court pressure again by Okima. Into Hubert. Dribbling down the middle. Kicks it back out to Treviso. Trapped. Hubert tries to dribble out of it and does. Oh, it's picked off from behind by Gaxiola. And then stolen again by Treviso. Sorry. 
Sorry, I had to yell at the referees. Okima basketball in the backcourt violation. Into Bean at the high post. Turns, flips it to Deer down low. Back out to Barry Hill for three. Short, might have been blocked as Barry Hill wanted a foul called. Hubert's got it, needs some help, flips it up and over to Tinsley. Tinsley all the way across to Treviso, and we're across the timeline. Corner, Lily Johnson for three. Off the backboard, no good. Switch has got the rebound. Trucking it down the middle, and she'll be body checked by Stephanie Tinsley here. And she'll pick up her second personal. 14 foul against Preg here. 11 to nothing, still the score. A couple of more subs is Hubert and Tinsley will set. Number two, Kaylee Rich comes on. And number five, Brooklyn Martinez. Inside the deer. Great pass and a foul called. And one for number 12, Raven Deer. And make it 13 to nothing. Chance to be 14. Delaney Boyd comes on. Lily Johnson will set. Free throw, no good. Rebound, Kaylee Rich of Preg. Over to Martinez. Now Rich again. Delaney Boyd flips it to Schimmick. Cross court to Treviso. Good inside move and a block but a foul on number 12, Raven Deer. Will send Treviso to the line to shoot two with 118 left in the first. First one is good, and finally, Craig has a point on the board. First sub for Okima is Raven Deer will set. Number 23, Lorena Castaneda comes on. Second one, no good. Castaneda's got her first touch and first rebound of the game. Bean up to switch. Down to Berry Hill on the baseline, and that's good. Good job of breaking the press there. Inside to Treviso. Jumper inside the paint is good. Treviso for two. Okay. Shot and one is Barry Hill, I believe. Foul goes against Craig, number 25, Delaney Boyd, her second personal foul. 16 foul. Barry Hill's free throw is good. And it's quickly 18 to 3. Dowdy checks back in. Delaney Boydle said. Dowdy to Kyra Smith, who's now in the game for Preg. Martinez to Treviso, now Rich. Into Treviso, back to Brooklyn Martinez. Rich to Dowdy on the baseline, back to Rich. Treviso, Martinez. This is a two at the end of the first quarter is no good. 18 to three, the score at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back in just a minute. I'd like to remind you to pick up.
Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive All right, we're back. Mike and Paisley live from Prague. Start of the second quarter. Prague trailing Okima 18-3 as we just got our Chris Cross on. And that is a tie-up basketball between Switch and Kaylee Rich. And it'll go in Prague's favor. Again, full court pressure by Okima. They haven't let off yet. Almost stolen. Martinez has it now. Over to Rich. Into Tinsley, who has checked back in. Kyra Smith briefly loses the handle. Now she's got it over to Tinsley. Back to Smith. Inside. Back out to Rich for three. Kaylee Rich off the mark. Smith is battling for it. Almost had it won, but she ran out of real estate over there. It'll be Okima basketball. Castanada, good pass to Bean. Won't go out to Gaxiola. Back to Bean inside. Tried to get it to switch. I'm sorry, Castaneda stolen by Tinsley. And Preg finally beats the press. Tinsley with the jumper in the lane. The senior. She'll forever be known as the person who makes the chewy sauce. As Castaneda's shot won't go. And that's over to Tinsley, and Switch ends up with the steal, and it's off her foot out of bounds. Hubert comes back in. She comes in for Brooklyn Martinez. Hubert splits two defenders. Gets it over to Rich. Rich needs some help. Gets it back to Hubert and over to Kyra Smith. Back to Hubert, top of the key. Now Rich, right side, takes a three off the mark. Rebound switch of Okima. Up to Gaxiola. She's got no help, pulls it back out top to Bean. In the corner is Gaxiola. Ooh, big time block by Stephanie Tinsley on the baseline jumper of Gaxiola, and it'll stay down here. Great, great block there by Steph. Into a wide open Castaneda. She can't hit the layup though. Gets it back. It's still her ball. Now Hubert has it. Triple teamed is Hubert. Finally finds Tinsley. Over to Rich. Avoids the 10 second penalty. Tinsley stop and pop from the elbow. No good. Rebound Gaxiola. And a pew pew whistle. They're going to say Gaxiola double dribbled there. Preg basketball. <laughs> Hubert has her pocket picked by Switch. Very late whistle. Foul called on Okima. Number four is Switch. Her first fourth against Okima. Substitution Gaxiola takes a seat. And number 21, Kuhn comes in. And Shimmick has returned for Preg. And Kyra Smith will set. Great pass by Stephanie down to Dowdy on the block. Couldn't get the shot to go. And Okima's off to the races here. Castaneda on the block is going to draw the foul on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two here. Shimmick picks up that one. 
her first 17 foul against Prague. Both free throws go for Castaneda. Ritz to Tinsley. Hits Hubert. Tinsley for three. No good. shimmick has got the board. It's knocked away. Now Switch has it. Over to Bean. As Gaxiola is set to come back in for Okima. Three by Switch is no good. Offensive board Castaneda. Count it. 22 to 5 is the score. Jimmick for three, no good. Stephanie Tinsley with the offensive rebound there. 3.45 left in the half. And that is over Hubert's head and out of bounds as Schimmick tried to get it to her. And it'll be Okima basketball. Dowdy and Rich will set. And uh, Treviso and Johnson come on. Bean. Quick back out to Berry Hill for three. Short. Offensive rebound, Bean. And she's fouled by Jaden Hubert, I believe. Her second, eighth team foul against Prague. Martinez comes in for Hubert. And we got a one and one situation for number 13, Addie Bean. First one, no good. Lily Johnson's got the board. And that is almost stolen by Barry Hill of Okima. So it'll be Preg basketball on the far end by the score table there. Timeout Preg. 3-10 left in the half. 22-5 to is the score. Efficiencies, so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt... But back after the timeout here, Preg basketball. Treviso driving straight through about four defenders, and we got a block foul. Fouls on 23, Lorena Castaneda. Quick in, and a shot by Tinsley's off. Under three minutes now left to play in the half. Down to Bean on the block. She hits the ground. Shimmick's on the floor with her, and we got a jump ball. They'll stay here. Panther basketball. Bean to inbound.
Great pass from Castaneda to Bean on the other block, and she'll score. Got to be out off Ella Schimmick. And she will take a seat. Kaylee Rich comes on for her. This is Kuhn with it. Over to Castaneda. Bounced around. Lily Johnson has it. And we have a jump ball. It'll be Preg basketball. Tinsley finally gets it into Brooklyn Martinez. All the way over to Rich. Back to Martinez. Tinsley gets it stripped. Good recovery by Lily Johnson there. That's knocked out of bounds by Bean. One thirty-five left in the half. Treviso from the lane is no good. And we have a tie-up between Johnson and Bean. It'll be Okima basketball. Floater by number two, Maddie Gaxiola is good. <laughs> Stolen, Gaxiola to the house, and that's good. No good, rebound Treviso. Lexi goes up strong and is fouled with 16 seconds left in the half. <laughs> 21 Kuhn credited for the foul. Her first, sixth against Okima. Treviso for two here. And the first one is good. Kyra Smith comes in. Tinsley exits. Freshman for a senior there. Second one's off. Okima's going to have to speed it up here. And a foul by Treviso on Gaxiola. That's going to put number two, Maddie Gaxiola, on the line to shoot one and one here. 10 seconds left. First one is good. She'll get one more. Second one is good. Rich launches one at the time expires. And that'll be the end of the first half. Okima leads Preg 30 to six. Diesel horse gets you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes.
Medical Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're gonna be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. At Maples Nixon and Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care, we'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off.
Alright, and we're back underway. They will switch sides. Brick going right to left this half. Okima left to right. Let's see, Tinsley, Hubert, Rich, Dowdy, Shimmick on the floor for Prague. Switch, Gaxiola, Deer, Berryhill, and Bean on the court for Okima. As that's knocked away by Matty Gaxiola. It's almost stolen again. Shot by Hubert's off the glass, no good. Offensive rebound by Shimmick, but she can't control it. Now this is Gaxiola off to the races. Back to Barry Hill. She'll shoot a three left wing, no good. Air ball right to the hands of Switch. And Okima scores the first two of the second half. 32-6 to six now. Stoblin. Maddie Gaxiola for two. from the free throw, no good. Rebound, Bean. Barry Hill now, hands it to Switch. Deflected away by Shimmick, but not before the ref said she was fouled. Foul goes against the Lady Devils, number 12, Ella Shimmick, her second personal foul. Her second personal first against Prague this half. Gaxiola is set to inbound. All the way up top to switch. Down low, wide open is Deer. And it's 36 to six. Tinsley mugged. And that'll be a foul on Okima. Miranda switch. Her second. And the first against Prague. That's stolen again. Switches off to the races and she'll make the layup from the right side. Up to Dowdy, can't hang on to it, and that'll be Okima basketball. Sorry about that, folks. I didn't know our uh, something had come unplugged. We should be good to go now, though. As Kaylee Rich scores for Preg. And a foul call down low. As Treviso's going to go to the line to shoot a couple here. Foul goes against number 12, Raven Deer. Number 12, Raven Deer picks up her third. Second team foul against Okima. As Treviso nails the first one. Delaney Boyd comes in. Dowdy will set. Switch bringing the ball up the court for Okima here. And that uh, passes off the mark intended for Bean. And that will be a rare turnover by the Lady Panthers here. Full court pressure. Gets it in to Martinez. Over to Rich. Back to Martinez, and she should have some room here, and does. Treviso has it, crossing into the paint. Boyd, Tinsley, Rich. Rich is trapped and fouled 
by, I believe, number four, Miranda Switch. Apologize. Fouls on number 13, Addie Bean. Her first third against Okima. And a foul against Miranda Switch now. Fourteen foul and her third. And uh, Treviso, good pass by Tinsley, and the shot won't go. Barry Hill has it. Now Preg has it. I think Martinez initially had that. And we have a tie-up between Gaxiola and Boyd. A couple of subs for Okima as Deer and Switch will sit. Castanada and 21. Kuhn will come on. Door pass intended for Castaneda is off the mark. Treviso deflects it out of bounds. And uh, Bean will inbound here for the Lady Panthers. Into Kuhn. Over to Gaxiola. That's deflected away by Delaney Boyd. Right to Brooklyn Martinez. 416 left in the third here. Tinsley. Cross court to Rich into Delaney Boyd. Stripped away. That's Castaneda. Flips it up to Gaxiola. She's off to the races. Her shot won't go. Offensive rebound. Castaneda in the putback. We have a block here on Okima. Looks like this is on Barry Hill. And... Uh, a 15 foul against Okima here, her first. Tinsley, back to Martinez, off her fingertips and out of bounds. Three fifteen left in the third. Three ball, well short. Treviso's got it. Whistle blown in the paint here. Checking in for the Lady Devils, number 35, Kyra Smith. Kyra Smith comes on for Tinsley here. Inside to Castanata, stolen. Lily Johnson got a hand on it. Still not possessed. Finally, Gaxiola recovers it for Okima. Kuhn, her pass is deflected by Kyra Smith. Into Treviso. Back out to Rich for three. Got it, Kaylee Rich. Kaylee Cash Money Rich. Good pass down low. And that's going to be deflected out of balance. Oh, I take that back. We have a foul before it goes out of balance. Treviso picks up her second personal. Second team foul against Prague. Bean gets it into Gaxiola. She's driving. Tries to get it to Castaneda. 
but she is fouled beforehand. Treviso again with the personal foul, her third, and the third team foul against Prague. Bean inbounds to Berryhill, gets the back pass, goes up with it, no good, bounced around, and 23, Lorena Castaneda is going to get called for over the back here. And a travel called on Kyra Smith. One forty left in the third. Barry Hill for three, no good. Rebound Bean for Okima. Now Kuhn all the way across to Gaxiola, and her and Barry Hill thought each was going to get it, and that'll be a rare turnover. Prague finally gets the best of the press. Johnson over to Rich for three, in and out. Rebound Castaneda, and Okima's off to the races here. Gaxiola is checked up by Brooklyn Martinez, and a foul called on number five here. Martinez. Okay, maybe it wasn't a foul. My bad. Inside a minute now. Big three. Finally, Barry Hill gets one to go. 40-point game. I'm sorry, 30-point. I can't add. I went to Shawnee. Treviso turns and it's stripped. Barry Hill has it now. All the way down to Coon. Back to Barry Hill. Three ball. No good. Deflected by Castaneda into the hands of Kaylee Rich. 15 seconds left. Down low to Treviso. She goes up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Back up. Stripped away. Now Kyra Smith has it. Seven seconds. Over to Rich. Three seconds. Two seconds. And Prague will not get a shot off. And that about sums up what happened the first half of this basketball game. 43-13 to 13, halftime. Or I'm sorry, the start of the fourth quarter. We'll be right back. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's Unlimited Data Plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. We're back with the fourth and final quarter as that ball is quickly stripped away by Okima. And Barry Hill has it now. Down to Castaneda. Her shot won't go. 
Hubert has it, and she's quickly tied up by Switch of Okima. And it should be... No, it's Okima basketball. Into Switch. Banged around. Wow. No con. No foul called there. Barry Hill for three. No good. Castaneda to Deer. Great pass there. Britton Himley. Now Ellie Brown. As Hubert is hammer sauced. I did. I said hammer sauced. Raven Deer, her first, or I'm sorry, her fourth personal foul. Seventh team foul puts Preg in the single bonus. Jaden Hubert, number 21, a chance for a one and one play here. Misses the first. Rebound, Castaneda. Kuhn hands it to Switch. Now inside to Castaneda, broken up. Hubert ends up with it. Flips it to Tinsley. Back to Hubert. Now Himley. Brown. Delaney Boyd. Cross pass to Himley. Driving in the lane. Stops and pops as Castaneda had an arm in there. Preventing Himley from taking the shot and we got a foul. So the freshman goes to the line to shoot a couple here. And the first one's good. Second one is no good. Rebound switch for Okima. Baseball pass all the way across to Castaneda. Or, I'm sorry, Barry Hill as she goes up strong. Shot will not fall, but we have a foul. Ellie Brown picks up her first personal. And the 14 foul. Barry Hill makes the first. And the second. Timeout on the floor. 47 to 14 is the score. Be back in a minute. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. At Maples Nixon and Deuce of Horse, we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. All right, we're back after the timeout. 6.22 left in this game. Tinsley to inbound. All the way to Hubert through her hands, and that'll be stolen by Deer. Switch, baseline, reverse layup blocked. That's Tinsley's at least second block I know of this game. She needs help. Gets it to Hubert now. Now Himley, back to Hubert driving, kicks out to Tinsley. Hubert driving baseline, floater too much. Rebound Kuhn for Okima. 
Switch for three, short. Rebound 11, Ellie Brown. And a whistle here on switch. And we got Tinsley, number 20, going to the line to shoot a one and one. Nine fouls. Bunch of subs. Bean, Gaxiola, and number five, Cali Coon, come in. And let's see, Castaneda, Barry Hill, and... Deer will set. Kyra Smith, Shimmick set the check in here. That's going to take Tinsley out and Hubert out. That inbound pass is stolen by Switch. Himley all over her, and we have a whistle. Two shots coming for number four, Miranda Switch. As Himley picks up her first personal, 15 foul against Prague. First one's off the mark. Second one is good. Brown over to Shimmick. Now Kyra Smith driving left hand side. Floater won't go, but we got a whistle, and that's going to put 35 Kyra Smith to the line. Shooting a couple of free throws here. Tenth foul against Okima. Personal is on number 21, Kelson Kuhn. Smith hits one of two there. <laughs> Okima working the ball around pretty well here. Backdoor cut by Gaxiola. Her shot won't go. Rebound by Kyra Smith. Up to Shimmick. Himley's pass deflected, but she recovers. Ten second half court violation called against Prague. And some subs coming in for Okima. This is number 11, Rena Rutland. And number 10, Libby Turner. Bean and Switch will sit. Four minutes exactly left in this one. 48-15 is the score. Shimmick's got the steal. Ella Shimmick off to the races here. And she is fouled by Gaxio, I'm sorry. Number 10, Libby Turner. First personal and well over 10 as a team for Okima. First one is no good. Dowdy comes in for Delaney Boyd as the second one is off the mark. Okay, so, 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 
inside. This is Rutland. That's stolen by Himley. Kyra Smith. Over to Himley. Now Ellie Brown. Ella Shimmick. Shimmick driving into the lane. Won't get it to go, but we got a foul. And Ella Shimmick's going to go shoot a couple of free throws here. Timeout Okima. 3.18 left in this one. Be back in a minute. Free throws off the mark by Shimmick. Next one's coming and she hits it. Callie Coon bringing the ball up the court. Ellie Brown on her. Gets it to Kelson Coon. Down on the block intended for Rutland is deflected away. has it now. Over to Britton Himley. Ellie Brown. Brown driving, throws it up, blocked by number 14, Jasmine Arthus, Arthurs, sorry. And some subs coming in for Pregu. Madison Dowdy will set, Ella Shimmick will set. And that's going to be a backcourt violation against Preg here. 2.13 left. That's going to be a boundary infraction, number five. Callie Coon stepped on the line over there, and Preg's got it now. 155 left. Good give and go there from Himley. Cross court pass. Down to Ellie Brown, blocked by number 14, uh, Arthas. Arthurs, rather. Coons driving. Great pass to number 11, Raina Rutland. And a sub coming in. Number three, Jaden Scott comes on. And number 25, Miranda Colbert will set. Himley driving. Stop and pop from the elbow. No good. Binged her out off a couple of ladies' heads. Right to Kyra Smith with the offensive board. Can't get it to go. And now Okima's off running here. Controlled by Jaden Scott. And that is uh, over her head. Intended for 14 Jasmine Arthurs. A 
Under a minute now left in this one. Don't forget, the boys play afterwards. Give me a couple of minutes after they do their run-in, and we'll get the stream going. Foul called. Foul called on number 14, Jasmine Arthurs. And that one's off the mark. Shot is off the back iron. Rebound by number 11, Rutland, and she's fouled by Ellie Brown. 16 foul now against Prague. Ellie Brown's second personal. Stolen by Kyra Smith there. Inside pass is broken up, but not before Ellie Brown scoops it up and scores. And that'll be the ball game, folks. 18 to 50 is the score. Okima beats Prey. All right, guys, give me about five or 10 minutes and we'll have the second boys stream up. <laughs> 